Well, hello, my name is Sandy Alna. Welcome to my YouTube channel where today I'm going to be bringing you, I hope, a very relaxing set of tags. This is the last in the 24 tags of Christmas series for 2015. And you can click through to my blog using the link in the description down below to get more information on a giveaway because I would love for you to win. That would be an amazing, wonderful thing for this Christmas. So we're going to Zentangle today. And a lot of people have said they just enjoy and watching people Zentangle and they wanted to see me do it. So most of this video is going to be just Christmas music and Zentangling. I'm using this bird set from Prima and I picked it because it's got very open areas for the Zentangling and very defined areas. I have both a Sharpie and a Micron pen. The Sharpie is going to be thicker and the Micron pen is going to be thinner. So depending on what kind of Zentangling you want to do, I'll do some in both. This first portion is at real speed, but I will be speeding it up as we go because there's a lot of little pen work going on here. If you would like to just zoom to the end, there is some brush -o work at the end of this as well. So I'm gonna add some brush -o backgrounds to these tags. But for now, I wanna let you know that these are on watercolor cardstock. They're on a hot press. So I wanted the hot press because it's a finer surface. It's a little smoother and it's going to work out better for pen work. So if you're using a lumpy surface paper, it's gonna be a little tougher to get the pen to work. But I'm using the watercolor cardstock because I wanna use the brush out. If you don't want a watercolor, you can use a, a paper that's going to take your pen better. If you wanna use Copic markers or anything else with it, just make sure whatever pen you're going to use is compatible with your medium because you don't wanna to go to all this trouble and then end up not being able to color with it or have all the ink start moving around. And one of the things you might also consider if you do spend some time zentangling like this, you can always scan this image for yourself for your own personal use only, and then reprint it and make yourself a bunch of tags using a wildly zentangled image. So you can really get into it on one and then save that work and be able to use it over and over again, which would be a very cool thing. Just make sure you don't share it because that would be against the rules, you know. When I Zentangle, and I'm no expert by any means, I'm just doodling. I'm not getting stressed out about it, wondering what patterns should I use? Where should I use them? I do try to, as you can see in that wing, the wing on the left, to add a little bit of extra depth to some of the lines in between. And you'll see as you watch this entire video, there are some places where sections divide, like right here and I go in with the pen and add some extra detail to it. And I try to make sure there's enough contrast between the types of zentangling I use on one side of a line versus another side of a line. That will give you definition in the sections. And that's pretty much the only thing I was thinking about in any of this is making sure that, you know, I didn't have all the polka dots in one area and all the stripes in another area and that I rotated around where there were solid black areas that had white dots in them or things that were very open so that you, you just kind of squint at it and you can see whether or not there are areas that you just need to fill in a little bit more. And other than that, just play, just have fun with them. And if you want to get out your own stamped images to sit and zentangle along with me, I'm just going to turn on some Christmas music and let you enjoy. And I'll meet you back at the end of the video for a little bit of brush out work. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Notes that I can hear Sounds like festive cheer Light the fire and gather round It's just that time of year Candles warm and bright Shining through the night It's a special feeling Knowing Christmas time is here Gather everyone Yuletide has begun It's that time of year when we all join in having fun. Gifts for you and me underneath the tree. Such excitement fills the air on Christmas Eve. The stockings hanging tight, the roaring fire at night. A wondrous feast to everyone's delight. Time to laugh and cheer When loved ones gather near And come together Christmas time is here Footprints in the snow, that warm and cozy glow, and carolers are singing high and low. And when it comes a time to hear those sleigh bells chime, you know that it's clear Christmas is near, that one special time.
Well, now that all of my zen tangling is done, I've added some sentiments using a stamp set from Hero Arts, and I think this is probably my favorite Christmas stamp set this year. And I really liked how the sentiments paired with these birds. And I'm using some brusho. You could use different kinds of watercolors, of course, to do the same kind of a thing. You could also color each one of the birds in whatever way you'd like to do it. But I thought adding just some really loose brusho watercolor to the background would add a splash of interest while allowing all that cool zen tangling to show and not covering it up by adding too much color to it. So I've put water outside of the bird, outside of the edges of him, and just shaken the brusho on top. The brusho should only stick to the places where there's water. So know that if you start spritzing it with a mister or something, you could put some water inside the bird and then get some color in there. On this one, I decided to just do color on the left-hand side. So I've painted water all the way down the left edge and leaving the right-hand side empty because I want that sentiment to really stand out since it's in such fine type and added some terracotta and some gamboge to this one. And I just thought it came out really beautiful. You can spread it around with a brush and bring it right up to the edge of the bird after you get it placed on there and just move it around as you want. Let it go, let it do its little runny, crazy, spready thing. And you can also dab off some of that color if it gets too rich. You can do that or you can spritz carefully See, I'm spritzing just facing the opposite direction away from the piece so that I don't get water into my bird image particularly much. And then you can also dab it off so it doesn't look bloody. You don't want bloody tags. But I think mixing the gamboge and the terracotta here together worked really well. And they came out as really striking, striking tags. And they're mounted just on some simple black cardstock with a strip showing down each side. So that is the end of the 24 tags of Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed these. If you have, make sure you click that like button and the giveaway is still going on over at my blog. All the details are on the blog post. You can find that in the description down below as well as the supplies used to make these tags. And I will see you next week with more great videos and next year with more tag videos. You can click on either one of these links to get to this year's or last year's tag series. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Bye-bye.